Welcome to vMix Tips and Tricks Volume 5. In these short videos, we like to go over some tips and tricks you might not know about vMix or some new stuff that we've added recently that you might not have and you might need to update vMix. So firstly, we're going to go over these lines that you might see around your preview screen. These are safe areas that we added in vMix 18. Now these allow you to make sure that all of your content, whether it be action or titles, are in safe areas for everyone to see the production. Now we've also added some grids as well if you wanted to balance out your shot a little bit better. Now we have also added a, an undo button, which you can't see at the moment. So I'm gonna close an input and then you'll see the undo button appear, which means that I can restore the last input that I've closed, which is pretty handy because I have been known to accidentally close down inputs. So that's a, a cool new feature that you may not have. If you don't have these features, you can always upgrade to vMix 19. It's probably free, just go to our website. Okay, so we also added some overlay buttons here. So when I turn on overlay, it will appear in this notification section here. And I can also turn them off from this bar as well. So I can turn that off. So in case you might have a, an overlay that's on, you're not quite sure where it is, you can use this um, indicator to actually turn it off as well or know which overlay channel it's in. So that's really handy for working with overlays. Now I quickly wanted to go into the presets for a second. So if you go to open, and we're currently working with Tips and Tricks Volume 5, but I'm gonna open up Volume 4. Now, if I clicked open, it would open up volume four. However, say I wanted to add to my existing preset some of the things from volume four and combine them together, I can select the ones that I want and then click the append button. So this is a way to combine your presets. So this has opened up volume four, but it's also kept all of my most recent one, which was volume five, which is what I was using. Let's combine them together into one preset which I could save as a different name or I can save this as volume four or five if I wanted to. So it's a really good way to be able to combine production. So say you had two productions and you only needed elements, certain elements from one, then it's a great way to be able to combine them. Now one of the big advantages of vMix is that it uses the graphics card to do a lot of the processing of the video production. So if you go to the recording section, you'll notice that you'll see a use hardware encoder tick box. So if you're using a relatively new NVIDIA graphics card, tick this box and you'll notice that a lot of strain will come off your CPU because it's using the graphics card to do the recording. Now the same goes for the stream as well. So you'll see a use hardware encoder tick box for the streaming. If you select this, it will use the graphics card to do the streaming encoding. So that's a very good tip for uh, taking a lot of the pressure off the CPU. So if you're not using that and you've got a new-ish NVIDIA graphics card, tick that box and watch your CPU usage go down. Now finally, down the bottom right hand corner, I just wanted to cover what this little camera did. This actually creates a snapshot of your output. So maybe you want to create a quick snapshot to send to social media, upload a photo, or if you wanted to take a photo of something on your production, you can use that little camera and it will create an image of what's in the output. So thanks for joining us today. If you have any tips and tricks that you'd like to share with everybody, feel free to send us an email via our website and we can make a video about it. See you later. Click to watch another exciting vMix tutorial.